Right, YouTube, it's a uh, Welsh Lie. Um, in the garage. Yesterday was Sunday, so Sunday afternoon project yesterday. Took about half hour to knock it up. So this video is mainly for um, people that are fresh to like solar who are just dabbling with it and you know debating whether or not to get involved in any small projects for whatever reason. So I thought I'd um, show you this. It took me about half an hour to put together. And I'm just going to talk about how simple it is uh, to put together, to operate, to repair, to maintain. So if you are thinking, you know, if you are these people on YouTube that are scrolling through all the videos, trying to learn and pick up, um, hopefully this will help. Well, you can't see very well, but that's sort of like my workstation in my garage. Um, it's full of all sorts of radio gear, wires, phones, tools. Um, the lot really can't see because the lights off. Um, what it is, it's an old shop desk counter. You might have seen it in my other videos. It's a cash desk out of a, a mini market, um, and it, it's been recycled because it's such a sturdy desk. It had a little shelf on it where you put the baskets. That board used to slide out, and I've got the runners for it here, which are going to get screwed to the wall. And then I'm going to slide in, obviously it'll be a bit further away, slide in my um, control panel, which is that. So I'm all about recycling, um, you know, make it do with what you've got. Uh, it's more interesting, plus it's, it's hard to find. If I, I, I went out to, sort of, like, to buy something I was after, I, I could never find it. I normally end up making what I need anyway. Um, so, right, I reused the shelf that I don't use. The shelf's been kicking around for ages. I've been playing around with solar projects for a while. Um, used to have it set up in my old garage, running all the garden lights, which was back up for the house. Um, made it smaller, took it camping. Um, use it for many things, um, but I wanted something um, just small, just to run a few lamps and laptop and stuff, if we had a power cut. Um, we don't have horrific power cuts. So, anyway, that's the reasons for it, and this is what I've got. Um, We'll start with the top left and work our way down. I've got a normal light switch you get in the houses. Um, this one controls the solar panel, which plugs into there. It's just a standard solar planet panel plug thing. Uh, then that's the main control switch, which shuts off the battery. Uh, the charge control unit, which is only a cheapie. Uh, double 240 wall socket. And then uh, a voltmeter. Uh, a control panel box, which was underneath the uh, the till, which done all the housing for the electronics for the, uh, the conveyor belt and the till and all the intercom and stuff, or whatever, I don't know who was in there. And then my 1000 uh, watt inverter. So I've got the 1000 uh, watt inverter wired to the power out, and then plugged into that is the double socket. The main battery kill switch is wired between, obviously, the uh, control controller, charge control unit, and the battery bank, and uh, the voltmeter is wired to the battery, and underneath, you can't see it, I've got a little push button, so when it's on the wall, I'll push that, and then the voltmeter should light up. Um, I haven't wired the battery up yet, because I've lost the little terminals to connect it, so all the wires just feed into the box, just a small 12 volt battery in there, like you get in a bell box, um, on an alarm. On a domestic alarm or well any alarm really um, and that's going to get screwed to my wall um, solar panel is going to go out permanently um, I've got a USB port on this which runs live even with the inverter switched off so if I turn off the inverter and um, the USB port stays live so I can have this little USB light on 24-7 so if there's a power shortage at night um, I can come out to the garage and this is all illuminated I can just plug it in um, or, you know, run a radio with it, laptop, charge my phone. Um, well, I've got everything's a bit chaos, chaotic at the moment on the floor. Just an old extension lead. Well, I put two plugs on this end. Uh, it, you can plug one end into your uh, inverter and then plug the other one into any wall socket in your house and it will bring it all live. 
so I can just plug that lead into there and we've got mains power in the garage so I can plug the lead into there and into the wall socket on the garage which is over there with multiple things coming out of it um, so that's it really it's all simple voltmeter when you buy these red and black wires charge controller unit uh, the inverter it's all red and black everything on these things no matter which make and model you get this is just a cheapie plus and minus red and black plus and minus you can't go wrong yeah you know, so all, it all um everything's well labeled everything you buy i mean you can't get mixed up with the big terminals there red and black battery red and black or they say plus and minus um and again anything inside here is live neutral or if there's an earth there's an earth uh, very simple to do doesn't take long just trying to get a shot without the light bleeding over from behind there we go and uh, yeah, I've left enough lip top and bottom for that there so I can have one at the top like that let's go into the wall and that one I've got three holes just going to drill and plug the brickwork, screw these on and then it'll all sit on these two runners so if I do need to remove it for whatever reason I can just slide it slide it off the runners and take it to another house or you know another location um, that can be upgraded that can be took off and upgraded can all be modified uh, you know times you choose or for whatever reason so that's it really, that's my new, new little control panel uh, for my uh, solar project. Um, just four screws, that comes off and the battery's inside there. Um, and of course with the little switch, well push button underneath. I've just drawn out on the computer with paint, um, like the schematics like the wiring diagram which I'm going to laminate and stick on the wall next to it I'll include a picture of that afterwards just so if I'm not about or someone does want to use it I'll print out some instructions you know on and off <laughs> I'll be labeling these anyway but it's all very simple uh, you can't see it up and running but it's all the same stuff I had in my other setup um, so feel free to check out any other videos I've got to do a solar um, and all that was under hundred pound, I think. Not even that. I paid say, twenty quid for battery, twenty five quid for that, and I think twenty 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 five quid for that. It's two fifty, sixty, seventy, seventy quid. I bought loads of these at the same time. Um, they were like a fiver, um, and the solar panel was like twenty five quid. It's only a, a little little one. It's not screwed to the house because I normally just use it portable. Uh, 10 watt. So it's not going to charge up an insane battery bank in a few hours. It is just to uh, keep the battery topped up. So it's, uh, if we ever need it, I was going to run this permanently. I'd probably want like a 40 watt panel minimum. A couple of hundred watts would be great, but just, you know, what my needs are. If I was going to run half my house or or room in the ga uh, house or my garage constantly. I'd want a few hundred watts and a big, big, big battery bank. But for what I need, just to run the lights, maybe a laptop, charge a phone for a couple of hours, and uh, that's fine. All right, thanks for watching YouTube. Uh, that's my little DIY um, control panel solar project. Um, it's only 10 watt in and 1,000 watt out. Uh, does the job.